pedophilia can make some noise for me? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. We're at the coolest, dopest spot here on Seattle. I, I know that because I'm here with all you beautiful people. <laughs> so I want to introduce Ellen Taylor Brown, and she's going to tell you about the amazing things that she's involved with in cannabis. You want to say hello to them? Yes, I do. Do you want to make some noise before they do? Of course I do. So tell them. All right. Happy Hemp Fest! Woo! Come on, guys. I came all the way up from Boston. Happy Hemp Fest! Woo! Yeah, thank you very much. Seattle Hemp Fest. It is an honor to be here. Like I said, I'm from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and what I want to talk about is the importance of cannabis community, creating this community, empowering ourselves, empowering each other, and then taking that and implementing it in the states where you live, talking to your friends, talking to your family, creating a paradigm shift, and continuing to change the world, because that's what we've done here through the Seattle Hemp Fest, through our activism, through talking to our friends, through talking to our neighbors, through talking to our families, we have changed the world. We now have states that have medical use, recreational use, but that's not enough, is it? We need to get cannabis not rescheduled, but descheduled completely. We need cannabis back in the U.S. pharmacopoeia. We need our doctors to be educating our patients on it. We need it to be taught in every single medical school. We need cannabis education classes. So in 2016, I started my own educational platform, Sensimia Seminars. And what I do is I use education as a platform to allow everyone to become their own best advocate. And with that information, I want you to take it to the dinner table, and I want you to take it to your city council, and then I want you to take it all the way to the state house, and I don't want you to stop there. We need to get involved, we need to get active, and we need to continue to make change. And we need to make change every single one of us, and we need to support each other. So, does anybody here have Facebook or Instagram? Anybody here have Facebook or Instagram? Woo! Yeah! All right. So what I want you to do with these social media platforms is instead of posting a picture of a joint and saying this was fire, I want you to tell me about the cannabinoid profile. I want you to tell me about the terpenes that are present. Tell me about the mercenine. Tell me about the linalue. Tell me about anything you want to tell me about that plant. Maybe talk about our endocannabinoid systems, your CB1, your CB2 receptors, because you're going to be that source of information for your friends, for your family, for your peers. And that's where it starts. All the world is a stage. And your stage might be at your dinner table, your stage might be at your church, your stage might be uh, driving along the road just talking to a friend. It's about taking that time, that, that one, two to five minutes to talk to somebody, to say, hey, have you heard about cannabis as an alternative medicine? Maybe not even as palliative care, but as preventative medicine. Did you know that since 2003, the United States government has owned the patent on cannabis as an antioxidant and as a neuroprotectant? Patent number 6630507. And I want you to know that, and I want you to tell people that. Because the more people you tell, the more change we're going to have. We need studies done. We need PubMed studies done. We need to be able to have cannabis available to everywhere and everyone. We're sitting here in Washington, Seattle, enjoying the one, the only Seattle Hemp Fest. And we need to remember that right now, at this exact same time, there are states that don't have a medical marijuana program, there are states that don't have a recreational program, and right now there's somebody in jail for cannabis use, and that is not okay. And we need to change that. We need these nonviolent offenders to come out. We need anybody who's ever been charged for a, medic or for a marijuana crime to be let out of prison. And you can't get that time back. That's time that they can't get back. That's time that we might not think about because we're here in Washington, but we need to remember that people have been fighting this fight since before I was born, since before many of us were born. You know, prohibition is almost, it's over 100 years old. Does anybody know about Harry Anslinger? Does anybody know about DuPont? Do you guys know how this happened? The history, the racism, the lies, the stigma, reefer madness. We need to completely dispel that, and we need to be a united front to do it because it's hard standing alone. It's, it's actually really not hard to have a conversation in front of all of you wonderful people, but it's, it's a lot scarier talking to my aunt. 
or my or my mom or my dad or my family those are the harder conversations for maybe not just myself but others and when you have those hard conversations if you have science if you have facts it makes it easier and you can help to change that stigma has anybody noticed in the past couple of years now the cannabis is becoming more socially acceptable you're the person your family looks to for those answers maybe you're that that kooky niece or that odd aunt and now they're like hey hey hey, hey. Uh, so what's going on with those topicals? I have really bad arthritis. Maybe you have your older relatives talking to you. Maybe somebody, maybe a family friend just got cancer and now they want to find out about, hey, what's going on with that CBD? And you're going to be the person that's going to tell them. You're going to be that resource. So I want you to wear it with a badge of honor and I want you to take that role very, very seriously. And the fortunes in the follow-up, we're all here to have a good time, but I want you to think about who you're going to connect with after the Seattle Hemp Fest to make your state better, to make your town better, to make your community better, because that's what it's all about. Taking this time right now and using today as a place mark for the future, because you're probably gonna be here next year. Who else has been here before to Seattle Hemp Fest? Yeah! yeah. Everybody's been here before to Seattle Hemp Fest. So when you come out to Seattle Hemp Fest, what I want you to think about is using this as a marker, kind of like your cannabis New Year's. So start thinking about this time next year, what did I do, what did I learn, and what am I going to continue to do? Thank you, Seattle Hemp Fest! Woo!